Yep. Right on cue. Right. <laughs> All right, shall we? We shall. So for this episode of Weekend Warrior Creative Lab, uh, we're doing a mystery package, somewhat of a mystery package. The story behind that is uh, my friend Tyler, who I've known for well over 30 years, and I, we have a relationship where we send things back and forth, just odd things. And, you know, like you do, right. Like, yeah. like people do. Yeah. Um, but, you know, whether it be books or amps, um, that orange amplifier back there he sent me for my 50th birthday i sent him a guitar synth stuff like that so reasonably you wind up with people's address in your address book in amazon and in ebay so the other day i got a notification from ups that i've got a 62 pound package coming from somewhere (laughs) in georgia and i'm saying you know monique my wife says what's this pack? I, said, I don't know what it is. I thought it was something she ordered. She thought it was something I ordered and it comes in and I look at it and, you know, I said nothing I ordered. I looked on my eBay thinking maybe I had been drinking and ordered something on eBay and <laughs> didn't realize it, but no. Open, popped open the top of the package, pulled off some of the packaging and noted that it was likely a guitar amp. So the first thing I thought of was Tyler. And this isn't the first time I've gotten a guitar amp that was meant for him. Um, he did this about 10 or 15 years ago. I got a Mesa Boogie head that I had for a while and eventually got it back to him. So, And so um, he thought, uh, for that one, he thought he was ordering an amp for himself. Correct. But it just got shipped to you instead. Correct. Okay. <laughs> um, fast forward to now, same situation. So I uh, called him. And now Tyler is not, he, he likes traditional communication. Okay. So it took me a couple days to get in touch with him. Um, He doesn't tend to answer his voicemail. He doesn't like cell phone. He got his first iPhone like in the last year. So he's like rocking a flip phone? He was rocking at all. He was rocking a flip phone or a you know bar phone something, but and it would mostly be off and in a drawer somewhere (laughs) or whatever. Eventually he texted me back and said, "Yeah, that's something that I ordered. It was meant for me." But he says, "Just keep it and." you know, try it out. So I thought for this episode, it would be great to, for me and Kevin to just open the thing up, see what it, I mean, I have no idea what it is, but it's going to be something cool because Tyler is one that he's always, he's got Marshalls, he's got um, a Rivera, uh, and he's got an orange similar to this one. I think he's got the Dark Terror or something like that. Um, He's got a Bogner. So uh, it's, it's, it'll be something cool. I'm sure it's tube. Yeah, I'm sure it's yeah. high end. I'm sure so it's not. So he didn't tell you what junk. it was. No, no, and I did. I told him don't tell don't me. Tell, yeah, yeah, okay, good. Because I told him, you know, I'm gonna open it up and check it out, and that's half the fun. That's as, exciting. As I know. Said, I can't so. wait, man. I can't wait. So, so we brought it in here. It was very it heavy. In. Yeah, it's 62 pounds. Um, it's packaged very well, thanks to this person in Georgia. Thank you. And um, so we're gonna pop it out and see what it's all about. Let's get into it. I feel like we Martinez, should shoot. Georgia. We should shout out whoever this guy is here. What is it? Britt? Britt Shannon. Thank you, Britt Shannon. Thanks, Britt. Okay. That was exciting. Fender. Fender, okay. All right. Oh, oh, it's not a Fender. Oh, man. Bad cat. Wow. Like I said, I didn't think it would be something. Dude, that's crazy yep. cool. Speaking, oh, of, look, speaking of Tyler what? Hudson, look who's calling me. Please get him on some speakerphone here. Weird. Hello? When I was 51, it was a very good year. It was a very good year. I think she likes roasted pears. I don't remember the rest of this Sinatra song. Hey, it's pretty weird that you <laughs> that you just called. Uh, 
me and Kevin, my buddy, are doing a video right now of the unboxing of your aunt, and we're literally right in the middle of it. No, no, no. 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 <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, no, it's, I was actually thinking about calling you, but, or trying to do FaceTime, but I figured being a, I won't say technophobe, but, um, I don't know. I, I told Kevin that you are a traditionalist when it comes to communication. <laughs> yeah, in some ways, but I do do FaceTime now. Oh, good. Well, fine. Awesome, though. Uh, bad cat, cub. Yeah. Man, yeah, that's. I was just saying. I said this is going to be something cool. It's not going to be some cheesy little amp or anything. It's definitely going to be two. It's definitely going to be something awesome. And I was right. So we got it stuck up. Well, you, know, you never know. Knowing me, it could be something cheesy and silly too. <laughs> True. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about why you why you bought this, Tyler. Do you remember even? <laughs> yeah. Well, well, you know, more or less. Um, <laughs> Well, I, I had a choice, all right? I, I got, I've got an array of, of amps, and, you know, a lot of them are kind of relatively high-powered and stuff I won't be because I don't really play out anymore. And, and I thought it would be cool to have something that would, didn't have a ton of power but sounded a little bit different than some of the rest. I didn't have anything that had, like, a history of, like, a, a Vox kind of circuit. And since this is an EL84 kind of thing where you can switch back and forth between the um, EF86 and the 12AXX, uh, 12AX7 settings. Well, it's got the glowing um, oh, nameplate, which is, alone is gold. Nice. All right, strap, we're going strap first. Is that the jet back one? Yeah, man. Nice. Birthday, sir. Happy birthday. I'm glad you called me yeah, on your birthday. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, it all works, right? Yep. All right, man. Well, I'm going to let you guys slide. I'm going to go tuck myself into a beer and um, I'll look for the video and I'll, I'll talk to you soon. All right, man. Awesome. Thanks. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
just totally. a ham. Right. Very cool. And like super crappy five year old rusty strings and guitars that won't stay in tune. But. So what's the what's the plan then? This goes back to Tyler at some point? Yeah, we usually see them once or twice a year and um, so they'll either stop through here on their way back to Connecticut to see family or um, we generally go, we, we were scheduled to go on vacation with them in December, but we were quarantined because ah, yes. our daughter had COVID. So um, yeah, we were we were going to meet them in Savannah for the weekend, but maybe I'll even pick up my old G&L from him. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. He ended uh, up with he, that, huh? He's got several strats now and I'm down to one, so um, I'd like to get that back, but. We'll have to see what the negotiation terms are. <laughs> Last time I traded a, that for an SG and some other stuff. So and my second SG that I had that never that didn't take. So I've had Why bad, didn't it take? bad luck. It was a faded like the the cheaper versions. Yeah. I didn't like the, the the pickup sounded great. I think there were the 490R, 490T, but the neck was weird. Like this this neck is is big, but that one was like I don't know. Baseball bat. Right, and I'm usually not picky. I mean, I can just, because my technique's not good, so I mean, I can go from <laughs> one guitar to another, and it does it doesn't really matter. That but one wouldn't. Yeah, that one just felt weird, like a homemade neck or something. I mean, <clears throat> and the original one I had was one of those 62 reissues, and it was like the first really expensive guitar I bought. It was like 1989 or 90 I bought it, and uh, it had microphonic pickups, and it just was a piece of garbage. But the play, did it play well? No, not even that. It huh? played good, but okay. But yeah, I think we talked about that. But I swapped it out for one of those DiMarzio Fred pickups, uh, which was kind of a weird, in retrospect. I wouldn't have weird, guessed you would have picked that. Yeah, I know. I, I think they just happened to have it at the local mm, music store, and mm. I, and it had like a somewhat cool sound. I mean, it was it was all right, but it, it just by the time I moved to South Carolina, I had already gotten rid of that guitar. So. I bought this used for 275 bucks in wow. 88, probably, 1989. It's a, it's a 82 or 83 Yamaha SA800, but yeah, it's been everywhere with me. You know, lots, of, lots of gigs back when I played a lot of guitar gigs. But, um. Well, cool. Well, Tyler, thank you so yes. much for making this, I guess this is yeah. our first episode, uh, yep. depending on how, when we put it out, right? Right. Um, but thanks for sending for yeah, just keep making these mistakes man yeah dude please <laughs> and i would say to anybody watching if they want to send amps guitars whatever we'd be we'll glad put, we'll to put yeah this stuff in dm <laughs> whatever us and and we'll um we'll send it here we'll we'll test it out and we'll put out a video and yeah, we'll even keep it if you want <laughs> i mean it's up to you but uh especially if it's high-end gear um yeah, I wouldn't mind trying a Friedman or a, oh man, I don't know it's stuff that's a lot of stuff I haven't tried, but um, one of the hand wired Marshalls would be nice too. Mm. But. Take us out. Oh boy. <laughs> <clears throat>